Hello YouTube, how's it going? Remember to like, sub, share, trying to get this channel to a thousand subs. Hopefully I'll earn your sub today. So, uh, Kick has been making some huge moves in the last couple of days. They signed XQC in the biggest deal to date when it comes to streaming or, you know, content creation in general with a $100 million non-exclusive deal. Remember, he can stream anywhere he wants, but they basically gave him $100 million to just come to Kick. And it's insane. And lots of big streamers are leaving the platform. Uh, Ninja left because of their new simulcasting policy where you can't simulcast if you stream on Twitch, which is insanity because every other platform allows you to simulcast except for Twitch. I don't know what makes them such a, you know, special case. But in the United States, Twitch is dying. But in other regions of the world, they still thrive like Korea, uh, Africa, Europe. Like uh, right now, they're still big in other countries outside the United States but when it comes to US which is a huge consumer of content creation and streaming content Twitch is right now on the bottom they're like they're not on the bottom per se like from a PR perspective they are but they're still literally on the top they just have like it's almost like with the GameCube like uh, when you look from the outside you think the GameCube is failing but when you look at the inside the GameCube made a lot of money like it was very profitable for Nintendo when you look into the nitty gritty of the stuff Kick still is operating at a huge loss in comparison to Twitch like I can only imagine where their numbers are coming from I mean yeah they have stake which is an illegal gambling, a gambling website, at least in the United States, that operates offshore accounts and policies that just don't look really savory when you look into their history. But nevertheless, uh, Twitch was trying to recover some stuff. I'm trying to build an edifice like I always do with these videos, but Jake Lucky, where I actually talked about this and a lot of people said I was wrong, but I was right. Like, the only reason this Partner Plus program exists is to keep the top percent of creators. And literally, they did the numbers and they showed that out of the 4,200 uh, plus partners that are on Twitch, only about 2%. So, I guess I'm wrong in the sense that I think it was the top percent. But you also have to consider, like... Um, at any time, these people can get banned for any reason. Twitch has made it very clear that we will ban anyone for anything at any time because of very, um, you know, open-ended rules. I'm sure we've all seen that where they literally will ban anyone for any reason or give big streamers or content creators like a slap on the wrist. But if someone smaller does the same thing they did, they're like uh, out the door. So... You know, it's nepotism at its finest. Every job has nepotism, but Twitch really flaunts it. And Kick decided to go an extra mile, and now they have Amaranth on their platform. Now, whether this is an exclusive deal or not, not an exclusive, but whether they have a contract with Amaranth or not, we don't know. If they did make a contract with her, you would assume it would be public, like they would flaunt that and tell people, because you've got to have disclosed this stuff, I think. Uh, I know for sponsorships, you do have to disclose that. I don't know if you have to disclose what contracts. I'm not a lawyer, so I'm sorry. I don't know that for truth or not, but tell me if you know in the comments below. I like to learn stuff that I'm not aware of. But yeah, she is live on um, Kick right now. And also, you can see from her Twitter, there's no indication that she made an exclusive deal. Man, she just posts the same photos over and over again. Okay. Oh, she posts a photo and then she tweets it? retweets it dude that's okay i mean whatever but uh yeah she is live streaming on kick right now so you know she's doing the same thing that she always does you know e-girl content you know for you know guys who want that stuff who are or women there are probably women there too like bisexual lesbian women who like her in that way but you can literally see her nipples right there like i think that at this point that she just decided you know what Kick has a better deal, uh, 95 5%. They're talking about an hourly wage, and she can get away with a lot more stuff. Like we've seen with Dr. Disrespect, they will ban anyone for any reason. Like, granted, women are given special treatment on Twitch, it's just the way things are. Like, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm sure a lot of us are just aware of it that women are given special treatment. Look at Pokimane. Pokimane has been caught harassing, bullying, and basically going after other content creators on a repeated basis. And even though she's apologized to a lot of them, like in the case of like It's a Gundam and Gideon, 
it still doesn't make it okay that she still did it and she should face the same penalties as anyone else. I am a big stickler for rules when it comes to that. I believe if you break a rule, you should suffer the same penalty as someone, whether you are rich, poor, you know, uh, big, small, whatever. But that's just my opinion. That's not how the world works. The world works on nepotism. It doesn't work on, you know, balance traits and equality. But regardless, she's on the platform and she has over 5,000 viewers, which I mean, that's pretty big in terms of like, uh, I don't know if I can click on the stream. I don't know if they have a rule against, uh, you know, recast and stuff like this. I know Twitch does. They have a 24 hour exclusive deal when it comes to this stuff, but I'm not sure about Kick. I think Kick doesn't have that, but I don't want to risk it. But Amaranth's on the platform now. So, you know, you can get your e-girl fill. And I guess a lot of the other e-girls who are on this platform will basically be, I guess Amrath will consume, consume them, basically. They'll go to the top dog instead of the little dog. But I don't know. I've never really cared about this content because, you know, I've actually been with a woman. And I know what it's like to be loved and have affection from a woman. So, you know, just saying. Like, if you watch that kind of content for that type of reason, maybe seek companionship in some other way either way she's on the platform if you want to go watch her and it seems kick is just going to grow even more bigger as time goes on right now it's just a more appealing option i'm a bit i'm rambling a bit but regardless we'll see how things go uh whether the platform uh crashes and burns or continues to go forward i mean if you look on the left left side you can see that the biggest stream on the Recommended is the slots and casino with this person with 12,000 viewers and Amaranth is at 5k But you know, she's not gambling. So I guess that's the lesser of two evils in my opinion So that said for my take probably gonna make some enemies when I uh, with my comments, but it is what it is I'm just gonna speak my mind on these types of topics, but that's my take Tell me what you think about Amaranth coming to uh, kick? Do you think um, Pokimane is next or a lot of the other e-girls that I'm sure there are thousands of them coming on to kick or maybe this is just like uh, a one-time deal to see that she what she can get out of this let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll see and I also want to add this I have nothing against her like make the money I've always stated this always make your money do whatever it takes because in this world anything can be taken away from you in a heartbeat so don't hate the player hate the game and in this game uh, pretty beautiful women who show off their assets succeed in this world when it comes to uh, this type of content. It is the reality of the situation, nothing against it. You got to play the game for what it is, not for what you hope it would be. And I just want to add that. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below. And that's me signing out.